Hey guys, Tabby here and welcome back to my channel. So guys, I have a brand new Harry Potter subscription box to share with you guys. I have never unboxed this before on my channel and it is High Street Outpost. I actually have their October box and their December box to unbox for you guys. For those who don't know, this is a monthly Harry Potter subscription box. It has 8 to 12 items with a shirt and a house specific item included. Oh. Full transparency guys, these boxes were actually sent to me for free to review on my channel which is crazy and a dream come true at the same time because you guys know I love Harry Potter subscription boxes and I'm always willing to try new ones but I have never had to say this before even though this was sent to me for free all opinions are mine as always I plan to be as truthful and honest as I am with any box that I get whether I buy it or receive it for free but that being said it would take a lot for me not to like a Harry Potter box so <laughs> but without further ado let's unbox these boxes so if you are interested keep watching and let's get into it and guys I'm very sorry about my voice I have been sick recently so I'm sorry if I sound a little weird and my voice is a little strained but yeah, these arrived yesterday and I cannot wait any longer. <laughs> but this is what the box looks like. And let's do a sneak peek. I don't know if this is the October box or the December box. Let us see. Okay, sneak peek. Okay, so right on top, we have an excerpt from the Quibbler. Oh, that is such a cool print. I love anything that has to do with the Quibbler. So maybe this is the October box because it's talking about Death Eaters and stuff. I do not know. But great start to the box. Next, we have a silver envelope. And on the back, it has a wax seal with a N in it. It's nearly Headless Nick's death day party. It's like his invitation. You're invited to a death day party in honor of Sir Nicholas de Mimsy Porpington, if I said that right. I love this. Please join us for tainted food, head hockey, and a ghostly orchestra in commemoration of Sir Nick's 500th death day. Wait. Hold the phone. It says Hogwarts Castle in Scotland? Did I miss that completely? Is the castle? No, wait, what? I thought it was like in England, London area. Whoa, I am so shook if I like totally miss that. But wow, you guys know I love replicas. That is so cool. Next, we have a black drawstring pouch. It is the Death Eater mask of Bellatrix Lestrange. This is a High Street Outpost exclusive. The detail on there, it's like I can almost see Bellatrix Lestrange like glaring at me from the eyes. I hate it, but I love it. Wow, okay. And next, we have a black box. Oh my gosh. You guys, it is a Dementor, like, what? So it's like a skeleton kind of thing under here, and then they have like black fabric, and it even has like a little hole where his mouth is to suck the happiness from us. So I just did a bookshelf tour, and I said that I do not have any Dementor items, but now I have an actual Dementor. Like, that actually looks like a Dementor to me. Like, that is creepy. Wow, this is definitely the October box, because this box is creepy, and I am loving it. Wow, okay. Next, we have a potion, and it is Drought of Living Death. I love the top of this potion. Like, I don't have any potion like this at all. I am such a fan of this, whatever type of potion this is, that makes this like magical swirl. So it's like a purplish, bluish tinge, like, 
with sparkles in there. Like, I don't even think you can see it. That is so cool. Oh my gosh, I love it. And next we have a candle, and it says Dolores Jane Umbridge, Blooming Mums Scent, 6 ounce, soy handmade. And it has a cat on top. Like, that is so freaking Professor Umbridge. And of course, it had to be pink. Let's see what it looks like. So, yes, just pink. Oh my gosh, that smells amazing. It's like a clean floral kind of scent. Oh, I love it. And next we have a t-shirt that is totally worm wormified. Hold on. And it says Borgen and Burks, Wizarding Artifacts and Curiosities, 13B, Nocturne Alley. Oh, I actually really like this. You guys know I am such a fan for a black Harry Potter t-shirt. And this shirt is so soft. That is awesome. And last in the box is a Thestral art print and it has little details about the Thestral written on there. Considered rare and dangerous, only experienced wizards should attempt to train or domesticate. Distinctions only visible to those who have witnessed death and accepted its reality. Thestrals are actually one of my favorite magical creatures, so I love it. That is such a cool art print. Okay, and the last thing in the box was the spoiler card. So the theme of this box was the death and dark arts. That is such a cool theme and perfect for October. We have the Quibbler front page replica, the Bellatrix Lestrange Death Eater mask pin, the Borgen and Burks t-shirt, the Drought of Living Death potion, the Dementor replica, which, <laughs> creepy the Dolores Umbridge office candle, the Thestral infographic, and the Nearly Headless Nick death day party invitation. Wow. As always, you guys will have to let me know what was your favorite item, least favorite. I actually really liked everything from this box. Some of my favorite is definitely the potion. I can't get over the wax skull at the top. I mean, just gorgeous. But I also really liked the replica of Nearly Headless Nick's birthday invitation. Also the Bellatrix of Strange Death Eater mask and the Dementor replica. Like, these are so creepy. And I love it. But overall, I thought this was a very strong box. But we still have one more to unbox. And this is their December box. Let's do a sneak peek. Ooh, I see lots of goodies. I don't see a spoiler card on top, and I don't want to dig. Um, I don't know the theme of this box. I'm assuming it's kind of holiday Christmassy. The first thing I see is a white envelope. It is the note from the Dursleys that they sent Harry for Christmas with a toothpick, and it says, find out if you and your bloody pigeon can stay during the Easter and summer holidays too. That is hilarious. I know that is such a simple thing, like it's a paper and a toothpick, but you guys know I am such a sucker for replicas from the book. Like... I actually really like this. Next we have a very big brown box, but I think I'm gonna save this for last. Next we have this little item with orange and purple tissue paper. Now I am automatically assuming this is from Fred and George's shop. I adore the packaging. It is like a little potion replica of the portable swamp that Fred and George put in the corridor during their mayhem to mess with Dolores Umbridge. Like, I don't know if you can see, it has like, I don't even know what that is, but it has something in there that is like green and slimy, like, this looks like a swamp. I adore this so much. Oh my gosh, that is hilarious. Wow. And next we have, it is Butterbeer Hot Cocoa Slug Club Christmas Party Blend, an exclusive treat for Hogwarts' best and brightest. So you would only get this blend of hot cocoa if you were one of the lucky few to be invited to join the Slug Club. Butterbeer Hot Cocoa, I have got to give this a smell. Hold the phone. Oh, that smells so good. I am such a fan of hot chocolate. 
during the winter, snuggling up, reading a book. Oh, I cannot wait to try this. And they do have ingredients on the back, which I always appreciate. Next, we have our t-shirt. So I'm assuming this is the house specific item. So it is like a Christmas sweater, but it's a t-shirt and red for Gryffindor. And it has the Deathly Hollow symbol. We have the stag. And down here it says, I solemnly swear that I am up to no good. Oh my gosh. I adore this so freaking much. That is the perfect t-shirt for a December Harry Potter box. I think this might be one of my favorite t-shirts that I have ever gotten from a Harry Potter subscription box. That is amazing. Next we have a little pouch bag. Like a wreath ornament that you can hang on your Christmas tree. This might be the wreath that Hermione put on Harry's parents' grave because they were there on Christmas Eve in book seven. I might be completely wrong though. It doesn't look very Christmassy though, so I think that's what it's referencing. And if it is, like, all the feels, guys. All the feels. That is so cute. We got our own Christmas stocking. And it is house specific. So I got Gryffindor. Like, oh my gosh, that is so freaking cute. And it looks like there's an enamel pin in there. It is two socks and they're mismatched. One has golden snitches on there and the other has a broom. I think this is the socks that Dobby got Harry for Christmas that I think Harry wore to the Yule Ball that Mad-Eye Moody commented on. Oh, that is so cute. Again, such another awesome little moment from the book. Oh, that is awesome. But guys, I cannot get over our own little Christmas stocking like that is so cute and it has the Gryffindor crest it says seeker it has H Potter for Harry's Quidditch robes I love it so much I'm totally gonna put this on my tree and then I'm gonna display it on my wall all year legit and next we have a notepad and it says do it today or you'll pay don't save it for later, you big second rater. This is in reference to the study guide planners that Hermione bought Ron and Harry for Christmas with all of these little quotes that it would say to you. I actually have a notepad very similar to this, but I loved it then and I love it now. Like, you can never have too many notepads. And next we have a card that says, Wishing you a very hairy Christmas. Oh, this is the spoiler card. <laughs> We're going to save this for last. So next we have an art print. And it is Flying with the Cannons, which is Ron's favorite Quidditch team. And it looks like this might be like an art print of a cover of a book because it says a commemorative book exalting the Chudley Cannon's glorious past, present, and future. I'm almost positive that Harry bought Ron a Chudley Cannon book. Maybe, maybe I'm making that up in my mind. I totally could be. It's a very colorful art print. Not my favorite art print that I've ever gotten, to be honest. I like the reference though to the Chudley Cannons and that being Ron's favorite Quidditch team. Just the design, maybe. It just isn't my favorite. But last but not least is this massive box. Oh, and it's a mug. It is Owls delivering presents, I'm assuming to the students who stayed at Hogwarts. I would want this owl, the one with the broom coming. Like, I want my own broom. <laughs> that is so cute. It is a very simplistic design, but probably the perfect cup for high street owl post. Owl post. I got, I got the reference. <laughs> but guys, that was everything in the box. Let's take a quick look at our Christmas card slash spoiler card. I like that they did it like this. That is really cute. It says, thank you for your support of High Street Outpost throughout the past year. It has been an absolute joy curating these boxes for you. I wanted to give you the hairiest Christmas I possibly could. So each item in this box is something Harry received 
or experience during Christmas. I hope you have a very Merry Christmas and a wonderful New Year. Stay magical, Brandy. So the theme for this box was a very hairy Christmas. So the first item was the owl mug and it says, Hedwig, Errol, Pig, Widgeon, and their feathered friends have been dispatched with Christmas parcels. Okay, so I'm assuming this one is Pig, and this one looks like Errol. He looks the most distressed. <laughs> and then we have Hedwig back here with a broom. Maybe this is the firebolt that Sirius sends Harry for Christmas in book three. I mean, it kind of looks like a firebolt to me. Oh, I like this cup even more because it has some of our favorite owls from the series. Oh, that's cute. Next, we had the Slug Club Butterbeer Hot Cocoa. And then we had the Letter from the Dursleys. And it says, exact replica of the thoughtful gift and heartless letter that was given to Harry by the Dursleys during his second year at Hogwarts. Then we have Dobby's mismatched sock pin. Imagine Harry's joy when he received a pair of a pair of mismatched socks designed and knitted by Dobby for Christmas in 1994. And then we have the house stocking, your very own your very own handmade sock made by Lisa Beshares. Love that. The guilt-inducing to-do list, whether it's by your own will and determination or by induced guilt, Hermione would want you to start your year off organized, just as she did Harry and Ron in 1995 when she gave them the guilt-inducing journals. The house t-shirt, the portable swamp, which says, I don't recommend opening this particular potion. Fred and George left no instructions about how to remove the large scale flood once it's been released. So that is hilarious. So once you take it out, it expands to the full swamp. Oh, that's funny. The Flying with the Cannons print, the front page replica of the Flying with the Cannons book Ron gave to Harry. Oh, so I totally had that backwards. I thought Harry gave it to Ron. No, Ron gave to Harry. And then the ornament, which was a wreath of roses conjured by Hermione for Harry to place at his parents' graves, Christmas Eve, 1997. All the feels, guys. Wow. But guys, what did you think of this box? As always, let me know what your favorite item, least favorite item was. This is hard and easy at the same time because I think almost every item is my favorite item. <laughs> our own Christmas stocking, which was how specific. Our Christmas t-shirt. I adore this so freaking much. But I also really loved the portable swamp. And I actually really loved the gift from the Dursley. That's just hilarious. Least favorite would probably have to be the art print. Again, it's just not my favorite, but not bad though. I really loved these boxes. They did so good with these themes and the type of items that they included. Some of my favorite items to get in boxes, you know, potions, enamel pins, um, I absolutely love their t-shirt design. So overall, I am very impressed with High Street Outpost. Um, but as always, you guys will have to let me know what you think in the comments down below. And thank you guys so much for watching. If you liked this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you're new to my channel, hey, welcome. Feel free to hit that subscribe button if you want to join my small community of Harry Potter lovers and bookworms. And I will see y'all next time. Bye, guys. So if you, so if you muddle, muddle, ha ha ha, <laughs> Kit Kat, stop jingling around, stop hitting the camera, Kit Kat, oh my gosh, we hates her, box? Kit Kat, stop knocking the camera. And, uh, really had no. Uh, stop knocking the camera. <laughs> Maybe I'm. Kit Kat, stop. Kit Kat. Harry, that dead. <laughs> My Harry Potter knowledge so far. Oh. Stop. <laughs>